I would like to invite our speaker, Dr. Eddie Chan, to share his knowledge and his experience in the topic of his sharing towards a healthier and more nutritious plant-based kitchen. Um, for those of you who don't already know, Dr. Eddie is a well-known podiatric consultant uh, and in recent years, he is a well sought after physician in nutritional lifestyle and anti-aging medicine. And for the brothers and sisters in Tsuji, um, I'm sure you know that Dr. Eddie is also the head of TIMA or the Tsuji International Medical Association in the Kuala Lumpur and Selangor chapter. So let us please give a warm welcome to Dr. Eddie Chan. Dr. Eddie, the stage is all yours. Kalan? Okay, thank you very much. Today we talk about towards a healthier and more nutritious plant-based kitchen. Actually, there's a from we talk about food. There's a transition from the bad food to the healthier food or the healthiest food. Okay, uh, from the bad habit to the good lifestyle to the better lifestyle. So, so there's always a transition. But uh, before we talk about transition, let us uh, check and see actually. How is Malaysia doing now at the moment? Huh? Okay. Actually, Malaysia is uh, always boiling in the way that we have a lot of good food, huh? the curry chicken or the kueh, you know, uh, fast food, whatever food you want. Okay. Uh, uh, in fact, many foreigners come to Malaysia. They always say Malaysia has one of the best delicious food in in the country. Or oh, it's expect uh, in one sometimes uh, in the world as well. Okay, but. Uh, in Malaysians, okay, 50% are overweight, okay. This is a rough figure according to 20919 survey. You can just roughly 5, 4, 3, 2, then you can remember better. Overweight 50%. We have 40% of high cholesterol. We have 30% hypertension. We have 20% of diabetes, okay. So uh, cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death. Roughly about 50% uh, die from heart attack per day, uh, per day, okay? Add an additional COVID-19 uh, make the situation get worse, okay? Because 80% of the COVID-19 death reported to have at least one or above underlying health condition like diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, heart disease, and high cholesterol, etc. So all this will increase the death rate of COVID-19 as well. So what to do, okay? Uh, our medical adv advancement is more and more uh, getting better in medicine, in research, but all this uh, what so-called lifestyle is, illness is not getting better. So the only you can do is find a way to help yourself, okay? Don't wait for other people to help you anymore, especially during this COVID-19, okay? Uh, there are many ways they can uh, maintain our health, okay? Stuff for environments, or even genes. So based on our genetic, we have uh, some problem. We have genetic of hypertension, cholesterol, etc. But mind you that actually 90 to 95 percent of our health, especially even in cancer, okay, is caused by environment. Okay, among environment, okay, if you stop smoking, okay, and stop drinking, okay, you may notice diet is a major problem or major contributing factor in in environment. They help us to lead us to the healthy lifestyle, okay? And obesity, even also related to the diet as well. So diet is very important. So the first thing, okay, I want otherwise people to do is stop all kind of processed food because majority of the processed food, even though it's organic, they are usually high in oil, sugar, and salt, okay? Wheat, they say it's good because they got fiber, got vitamin B, but once it becomes flour, it's processed, no more fibers, a lot of nutrients lost, is no more nutrient value in the flour, in refined flour. So don't take any food with flour. For example, all kind of, no need to say, uh, you will know, uh, okay, white bread, uh, biscuit, uh, or cake, uh, all kind of, so people call junk food, but actually they're called processed food, okay? Or the sweet things, okay? Or the sweet things. Many sweet things, uh, so-called fruit juice, they are not fruit juice, they are just coloring and flavor look like fruits okay even even fruit juice also they have some limitation they have some preservative as well okay all kind of food even some people say oh i heard vegetarians is is good why not we have a vegetarian burger a vegetarian burger 
uh, this is a download from the Beyond Meat. Uh, Beyond Meat. Uh, now it's more more popular called Beyond Meat. The high calorie, uh, high color, uh, high fat. Okay, and then sodium is very high, very high salt as well. Okay, so no fruit juice. Uh, drink water. That's the best. Okay, this is the basic. Okay, this is the main basic. Okay, uh, fruit juice. Why is not good? Is uh, take fruit is good. For example, you take an apple. Oh, one apple is enough. Two apple is it okay? To cook, to cook enough because I give apple give juice, not only vitamins, minerals. There are a lot of fiber inside. But once they become juice, there's no more fiber. Only juice. Do you use one apple to make apple juice? Not enough. You need two, three, four. To make a cup of apple juice, so you end up eat more apple than required. So more sugar intake into your body. So avoid fresh juice is possible. Of course, it's still better than soft drink. Better than a lot of different uh, juice is not freshly pressed. But if possible, try to eat the whole food. We call whole food. Otherwise, water is the best drink you can. Okay. And then what about morning tea break and afternoon tea break? Okay, morning tea break, other tea break to me is a habit. Okay, it's from the United Kingdom. They talk a lifestyle afternoon tea time, nothing to do. You know, they're talking chit chat. You no know, high tea. You know, this is not for the normal people type of lifestyle. So it's more of habit when you have. Tea time or afternoon tea break, you tend to eat something. Ask yourself, do you really feel hungry, or oh, it's just a habit? Okay, so try to break a habit. No food if possible. If you really want, drink water. If really, really, really hungry, really hungry. Okay, uh, all this don't take, don't take anymore. So, eat something like fruits, fruits. Bring some fruits. Huh? Okay. Uh, some sweet potatoes, apple. It's okay. Okay. Otherwise, drink water. Okay. So these three break. We don't want so much of milk, biscuit, sugar. Okay. All this can contribute to our unhealthy lifestyle, and healthy food as well. Mm. So that's why some people say, "Oh, I heard Mediterranean diet is better, right?" Yes, definitely better than people to eat all kind of junk food because Mediterranean diet usually the less junk food. Okay. Uh. You should eat more of fish, seafood, okay, with a cups of grape wine you know, and some cheese, uh, okay. Uh, such a wonderful, luxurious lifestyle, a Mediterranean diet, okay. But this is diet. This diet, diet definitely is better than people to take processed food, okay. Uh, so if you look at the whole scope of eating from animal based to plant based, animal based to plant based, so omnivorous means all kind of thing to eat. Okay, best called vegetarian is just fish and the rest milk also and some veggie. Okay, but they don't eat the rest of the meat except eat fish. Over lacto, they drink milk, eat eggs, eat cheese and some veggie also and veggie also. And vegan, they only veggie, but they don't take milk, don't take eggs, don't take cheese, don't take fish. Okay, they call vegan. So it's a whole spectrum of food that you can choose. Okay, but they are different level of healthy with Hong compared to it. Okay, uh, Mediterranean diet most likely is between the omnivorous and best core vegetarian. They are in between. Uh, they are in this level. Okay, so, but they did a study in two zero zero nine. Okay, in sixty thousand people in American, they are called seven Adventists. Seven Adventists is a religion that uh they are take plant based food as well. Okay, so their whole kind of food thing habit, they found that for non vegetarian, usually they are tend to have overweight. Okay, BMI is to check whether you're overweight or not. Uh, in benchmark, you use twenty five, twenty five as a normal value. You can see non vegetarian, semi vegetarian, best core vegetarian, even lack. Lacto all vegetarian also tend to be overweight, except vegan. Okay, twenty five point something. Okay, lah, this slightly overweight lah, lacto over. Otherwise, still acceptable. Okay, so when you talk about ah the chances to get diabetes. Okay, so start from non vegetarian to vegan. Okay, step by step, you notice they start getting lower and lower, 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 lower. So the vegan is still an over lacto vegetarian is still a bad. Okay, compared to the rest in terms of prevention of diabetes. Okay, so what what's the problem actually? Uh, why have such impact to our health? Uh, now they found that because of the animal protein, we need protein definitely. Protein is so important, right? Okay, but animal protein and plant protein is very different. Okay, not many people mention about it. Animal protein 
they have a lot of sulfur containing amino acid. That means the type of protein in the animal is different in a way they tend to make our body more acidic. Acidic. Animal fat, definitely because it's saturated fat, not good for our health. It can cause high cholesterol, also can increase hardening of our blood vessel, make us easier to become diabetes, etc. So animal protein, animal fat is the main issue. Okay. I think most of you have known all this diabetes, hypertension, cholesterol, obesity, kidney stone, even osteoporosis. Now it's linked with animal protein because animal protein tend to make our body more acidic. So in order to neutralize the acidity in our body, our bone will come up calcium to try to neutralize the acidity. So the calcium tend to leak up from the bone. So let us easy to cause osteoporosis in the long term. Okay? Uh, uh, also low immune system, cancer, even cognitive impairment, like Alzheimer's disease, all this all linked with higher animal protein, higher animal fat intake. This is the World Health Organization classifications of kinds of what they call carcinogen. Carcinogen means substance that can cause cancer. Great one. Okay, group one carcinogen means definitely sure, confirmed. This one can cause cancer. Sausage, hot dog, we sell in school as well. Okay, bacon, salami, same grade as smoking and drinking alcohol. So basically, if you cook hot dog at home, same like putting secret on the frying pan and cook secret. It's a, no difference. Okay, uh, how about chicken? Chicken is not inside there, right? Chicken. Arsenic is group one carcinogen also, but uh, uh, now there's a study shown that arsenic is widely fed, used to fat chicken, so the chicken can grow faster, and then we'll kill the chicken, the chicken meat, they tend to look pinkish color because of the arsenic. This is widely being used in the United States. In Malaysia, we do not have data. We only know that in because United States, you can widely get a lot of information available. There are a lot of study going on, research paper going on. Okay? So they found out there's an arsenic in the food to feed the chicken. In Malaysia, we are not aware of it. We are not, we do not know. So next level is 2A. 2A means pork, beef, and lamb. Okay? All this can cause cancer, so probably cause cancer as well. So when we eat food, we don't eat food for certain nutrients. Always say, oh, I eat the food because of protein. I eat the food because of calcium. You know? Don't think that way. If you say that when we eat the food, what is the overall outcome? Overall outcome is much, much more important rather than mention about specific nutrients. Later, you, you will understand what it means by outcome. Okay, Remember the words overall outcome is more important of specific nutrient okay okay now for example fish okay 84 percent of the fish have unsafe level of mercury 84 percent according to research we know about that but people always say that the nutrient they got good protein they got omega-3 okay they ignore the mercury because mercury is not part of the nutrient in the fish so they just look at the fish, they don't look at the overall picture of the contamination. And one in 40 women have high dose of mercury in the body in 2009. They already shown that, okay? But this is just a specific compound, right? Okay, so what is the outcome? Okay, I have a, I, I, I show you some study. This is a three years old child, come with me with learning problem. Okay, with autism, and we cut the hair and send to United States to do a study. You can notice there's high mercury on the hair. High mercury. Just so there's a lot of mercury, not even aware of it. Mercury is neurotoxic. They mean they can affect our brain development, even up to old men also. And once it enters your brain, they take 69 days to 22 years to come up from our body. My God, it takes so long. And food is a main reason to get the mercury, especially fish, according to the Hong Kong study in 2004 at the time. Okay. So fish is the main source of mercury. And I believe now the contaminations of the sea and river is worse than last time. And this is an 18 year study. They shown that even exposure to mercury have increased your chance to develop diabetes. 
See, this is the outcome. This is the outcome. Your exposure to all kinds of seafood, mercury, you can go all kinds of outcome problem. It's not the specific nutrient we're talking about. It's the outcome that's important. Okay. We can't find any wild salmon to eat or our farm salmon. Okay. How do we know? They are usually pinkish, orangey color. They're not that red. And see the stripe of fat. The stripe of fat look very nice, right? The pattern because they're in a farm, no exercise at all. That's why they can fatter, they sell better price. Okay. The leaner in a wild one. Okay. So, and then the color, the farm, the salmon fish is gray in color. Okay, in the sea, when they eat the algae, red algae, they become red in color. Okay, in farm salmon, there's no algae to eat, so they're in grayish color. You do not want to eat, right? So, what they do is the food to feed the salmon, the add the coloring, the add the coloring into the food to feed the fish, so that the fish can get this of pinkish color. And this coloring is developed from the petroleum. Okay, so this is not a natural color they were talking about. Okay, so you can have all kinds of color. Uh, this is like a ICI paint. You know? What color do you want your fish? You know, we can supply the food to you know, feed your fish so that your fish go according to the color that you want. Okay, so we, we talk about nutrient level. We talk omega 3 in the fish is very good because they can anti inflammation, good, our good for our body, uh, can help for our brain development rather than omega-6. We know omega-6 is uh, inflammatory fat because they do become AA and cause pro-inflammation. Pro okay, so we will talk about pro-inflammation. Can this call it, it hey, uh, uh, heat, uh, uh. to me this is something like inflammation. Okay, so for pro-inflammatory state can make yourself easier to get all kinds of chronic diseases. So donut have four MG of AA, hamburger 34, pork 112, not good, right? Fish even higher. Salmon is the highest, one of the highest, 1152 MG of AA. But not many people are aware about this. No information is available. Right? In fact, they did a study for those who are take more veggie, they get higher omega-3 because fish don't produce omega-3. Whatever omega three in the fish, okay, actually come from seaweed, come from plant, okay. So, farm fish no omega three, no seaweed to eat. So we businessmen put the omega into the food and feed the fish. So the fish got omega three, and we say fish got omega three, eat more fish. Okay. So the best source of omega it come from plant. Seaweed got omega three. The higher source like flat seed, chia seed, flat seed, chia seed have higher omega-3 level compared to the fish if you wait the same weight okay so flat seed even have higher omega-3 so of course we all need nutrient okay we all need different type of vitamin mineral protein etc we can get from the lower level grass corn okay or we get a higher level like all this beef pork chicken okay which way do you want to eat okay I can tell you whatever minerals, vitamins, or even protein from the animal that are eating, they all come from grass, all come from corn. That's why you see the cow eat grass day and night. They become so strong and still so fatty and still got a lot of protein and still can produce so much of cow's milk, high protein cow's milk for you. All are come from grass as well. So, so try to take the lower level is much better. Okay. Just take an example. Many people worry about protein. Huh? We read protein, not enough. Okay. So average adult, average adult, huh? you need about roughly, uh, roughly 50 grams of protein. 50 grams of protein. Let's say you have nothing to eat. Ah, just day and night, it's finished. Day and night, it's finished. Day and night until you get full. One day you will get 195 grams of protein more than three to four times of what your body required. Even you eat white rice day and night, eat white rice day and night, eat until you get full white rice. Oh, you still get ngam ngam, 50 grams of protein. Just enough. Uh, of course, I don't expect you to eat rice day and night, white rice alone. I still prefer you eat all kinds of different types of veggie together, right? Because we need all kinds of minerals, different types of vitamins, okay? Not just protein alone. 
But when discuss about protein alone, it might rise also enough protein for you, provided you eat until full. But we always worry protein not enough because this happened in those places in constant poverty, constant hunger, okay? Underprivileged people, or especially in those Africa places, then you can see they all have protein not enough it's because they do not have enough food to eat. Do you have enough food to eat? Everywhere is protein. I must say protein is important for our growth, for our immune system. But protein is so widely every available. Everywhere is protein. Start from the grass to the spinach, okay, to the food that you eat, to the bean. Okay? Not necessarily must come from meat. Okay? So when you talk about package, package, okay, you really believe in protein in package. When you eat the meat, you get the protein true at the same time you can get a lot of chemical as well what chemical you can get bacteria toxin hormone and pesticide uh, just to remind you that meat itself called pesticide seven times higher than vegetable because all these animal they eat the corn eat the grain in the farm they have to spray with high dose of pesticide okay so they have high dose of pesticide in the fat it will pass it up, it's fat soluble. So they have more pesticide than even vegetable. Okay. Uh, of course, some are injected hormone. What I mean by bacterial toxin? Do you eat the fresh meat in this way? You don't need you cook first, right? Because of the bacteria. Bacteria on the meat they produce a toxin. Even you cook the meat, the bacteria dead, die, dead, but the toxin remain. Toxin usually are heat resistant. When you take inside your body, this toxin will create inflammation in your body. So bacterial toxins is in the meat. At the same time, they give you inflammation, okay? Higher animal iron. Now they notice that animal iron, different from plant iron, animal iron, faster absorption lead to cancer, diabetes, heart problem, and even stroke, all because of high animal iron. That's why people say, red meat not good. We go for colon cancer. Red meat is not good. Red meat means red color, right? Red color means a lot of blood and there are a high animal iron. So they can damage your good probiotic in your body, your probiotic in the gut, okay? To give us immune system, the good bacteria in our gut, okay? They grow. When you eat the meat, many good bacteria die. Okay, that's why some people may, uh, try to do enzyme. Uh, to do enzyme, they put a lot of veggie to do enzyme, enzyme drinks, uh, enzyme. You put a meat, the whole enzyme drink is spoiled. The whole enzyme is spoiled because they change. Okay, they kill uh, the, all the good bacteria cannot survive with this environment with a lot of meat and a lot of toxin. Okay, of course, it leads to all kinds of chronic diseases. So, do you want to get all this chronic disease, all this inflammation, all this chemical, just because you want protein alone? Just because you want protein? So you have an option. You can have a protein together with less chemical, more fiber. Fiber that can help to bind with the toxin, bind with our cholesterol in our gut and come up from our body. Okay, Fiber also can help to feed some good bacteria in our body. So our more good bacteria being produced and plant that have more than 100,000 types of plant nutrient, which cannot be made into a supplement. Okay, all these are good for our health and also increase our probiotic in our gut. Okay, increase our immune system at the same time, also reduce our chance or risk to get chronic diseases. So, so th th this is the the paradigm shift you know, we need to think about okay but we we have been brainwashed for a long time meat is good okay uh, meat is for men you know? even advertisement they say meat is what for the man you no know? energy you know okay Ula, uh, energy okay all this uh meat you know? so there's reason behind it okay so i show you a video okay uh for for some purpose i will stop the video in between i'll explain to you later Arnold Schwarzenegger. I ate a lot of meat. They showed us commercials. Steak. That's what a man eats. Selling that idea that real man eat meat. Serious man food. But you got to understand that's marketing. That's not based on reality. See, 
this is a marketing. It doesn't based on reality. Okay, so we 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 must understand this. This is a marketing purpose. Okay, but there are a lot of good outcome as well. If you have, if you take a a, a plant based diet, you can see plant based diet. I qualified for my third Olympic team. Oh! I broke two American records. I was like, man, I should have done this a long while ago. Most guys my age can keep up with the grandchildren. My grandchildren can't keep up with me. Someone asked me, how could you get as strong as an ox without eating any meat? And my answer was, have you ever seen an ox eating meat? So have you ever to see an ox eating meat? No, right? They still can produce so much of energy, even elephant as well. So that's how the idea of ovo lacto vegetarian come about. Okay, ovo lacto vegetarian means they take majority are plant based. Okay, uh, with some milk and some eggs. Okay, as part of their food, we call ovo lacto vegetarian. Okay, so next step, next level. Now we will talk about this is Big Mac. Okay. I can tell mention to you the name we call Big Mac. Okay. I search about Big Mac, the nutrient value of Big Mac in the McDonald website, okay, as well as the USDA website. Okay. Uh, it's very similar to eggs. So. Very similar to the eggs. Why do I say that? Because 53% of the calorie is come from the fat, very high fat diet. It was 60% uh, of calorie is come from the fat. It have more fat content. Okay, compared to the Big Mac, because they are even higher fat calorie, and then twenty four percent are saturated fat, not good in Big Mac. Eggs got thirty three percent, even higher saturated fat, and Big Mac have seventy nine milligram of cholesterol. Egg got hundred eighty milligram of cholesterol, two times more than Big Mac. Okay, so it got is a high calorie uh, from fat, saturated not good fat and also high cholesterol as well. So is it a, a problem or not? But now many, many people start to notice the problem of eggs, okay? But so, but egg industry also try to fund more and more research, okay? They fund, they use money to do more and more research, okay? So according to a study, they try to inappropriately uh, huh, downplay the effect of egg consumption on cholesterol. Why we say that? Prior to 1970, there's all the research about egg is not related, not funded by egg industrial. In 2010 to 2020, they found that 60% of the research paper are all funded by egg industrial. What problem? They can lead to bias, right? They can lead to bias. So it come up to the extent that in 2015, the United States Dietary Guideline you know, Advisory Committee reported that based on the available evidence, you know, available evidence, there's no relationship between how much you take in the food cholesterol and how much the blood cholesterol. Indirect means the, you eat a lot of food with high cholesterol, it doesn't increase the cholesterol in your blood. Okay, this is based on the available evidence, but we know that 60% of the research paper now is funded by the egg industry. So it create a lot of hoo -ha, no? Okay. Uh, uh, so even people try to popular the try to popularize egg. They say egg is very good. No? This is a recent newspaper. Okay. I try to put some column because I find I feel that the newspaper they they report it with a sincere good heart. Okay. The nutritionist or dietitian inside they give the comments is out of their sincere heart. Okay. So because the, many people are not aware the 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 truth behind it, okay and sometimes sponsored by some uh, uh company some egg company come up with a newspaper okay and say what they say don't blame the egg cholesterol it's a trans fat it's a problem can cause heart attack it's a trans fat called heart disease not the egg cholesterol okay uh, they will never realize that egg beside cholesterol they also have saturated fat high saturated fat as well Okay. So JAMA is a very reputable magazine, okay? Mega research paper have published 2019. They found that food cholesterol and eggs, specifically eggs, uh, they increase the risk to get heart disease and death as well. Okay. And 
85% of the research paper, regardless of funding sources, you know, who, whether your egg, uh, egg company uh, funded the research or not, they still show that eggs have unfavorable effects on blood cholesterol. Okay, but my, many people are not aware uh, about it. Okay, then they found that actually 49% of the industrial funded publication reported the conclusion and the actual study result actually are conflicting. They mean the research paper, the study result is not good, not good, not good, but the conclusion is different from the actual study. So many people looked at the conclusion. They didn't look at the actual study. They found that, oh, conclusion is quite good, no? but actually actual study, the result is not good. So, so, so this kind of, kind of buy sometimes can, can happen if uh, any research paper is funded by certain industry. So, and uh, so they mentioned this. Uh, so the journal, this American Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, have mentioned that there's controversial headlines claiming the eggs don't raise cholesterol level could be the product of forty industrial funded research. Right. So, finally, this year, I think June this year, two zero two zero dietary guideline advisory committee finally, okay, recommending. The new guideline, 2020 to 2025, the next five years new guideline, they recommend that individual, everybody should eat as little food cholesterol as possible. Last time, they, they, they put a level of 300 milligram is a safer level of cholesterol. Now, they don't put the limit anymore. No more 300 milligram of cholesterol in the food intake. At least eat as little food cholesterol as possible. Finally. Whew. Finally, okay. So later, not only result this year, this year October, they published uh, another uh, uh, research. Consuming one or more eggs per day can increase your risk of diabetes by sixty percent. One or eggs, one or more eggs per day. If you have already have diabetes, you continue to eat eggs. They can increase your risk of developing heart disease by sixty-eight to eighty-three percent. So if you have because eight out of ten diabetic patients die from heart attack, die from a heart attack. So if you have diabetes and you eat more eggs, they can increase your heart disease by 68 to 83%. So not only eggs, they found another animal protein called milk, okay, uh, which is, uh, this is funded, uh, this is funded, uh, uh, this, uh, but this organization is more of the independent organization. They're funded by National Cancer Institute, National Institute of Health or World Cancer Research. They found that women who consume cow's milk increase chances to get breast cancer. Okay, not one quarter to one third cup only, you know, they can increase uh, breast cancer by 30%. Um, partly because milk contains hormone. Okay, they can, some people are injectable hormone, they inject so that inject hormone so that milk can milk production can increase. Even organic cow's milk. Organic cow's milk, they get they got original hormone from the cow, okay, in the milk, so that when the baby cow drink the milk, they grow faster, okay, they grow faster. So so that's why all animal increase human being. We have milk to feed our baby, okay. So when we reach baby ring one year, one year plus, got teeth, your breast milk is stopped because why? You don't need milk anymore. So we human is the only animal who look for milk from other animal. Okay, all the animal bring their own milk. So that milk is production for baby, so that they can grow faster. Uh, not for adult who continue to drink milk, uh, continue to expose to this kind of what they call hormone. Right. So same thing. So they have high fat also, especially cheese, ice cream, whole milk. Okay, they have higher breast cancer death as well. Uh, cancer, breast cancer death, uh, the way you, you means you, if you get breast cancer and continue to drink more milk. And same thing, and the advertisement say, milk, man, milk makes man. Uh, you want to become a man, drink more milk. <laughs> milk makes man in either 30. Same, they can increase the risk of getting prostate cancer because all these are hormonal related, uh, hormonal related cancer. Okay. So and also increase your death from prostate cancer. If you got prostate cancer, you drink more milk, okay, the risk of death is higher. Okay. Uh, even if you treated with a prostate cancer, 
your chance to get recurrence, that means the cancer come back, okay, the chance to increase by 73% if you drink more milk per week. Huh? So same milk, we call daily product made to cheese, okay, to me, uh, cheese can be worse than milk sometimes because 70% of the calories from fat, okay, uh, Mac, Big Mac is not good really, make of 50%, eggs you to 60%, uh, cheese got 70% of the calories come from fat. Cheese not only high in fat, they're high in saturated fat, okay, high in salt as well, high in salt as well, okay. So uh, some people say cheese got calcium, but I would say that many food also got calcium, all the green leaf vegetable also got clean calcium. Uh, the green color veggie are all calcium. So there are many alternatives, you know, many sources of calcium is available. Don't take from cheese, okay? Some cheese have higher calcium because they add calcium supplement uh, inside the cheese, okay? So that the cheese have higher calcium. So no, no big deal. You can take all kinds of calcium from many sources, not necessarily from cheese, okay? okay? So this is the same outcome. We talk about outcome, okay? Not the nutrient, outcome, okay? So they increase the risk of breast cancer as well if we eat more kind of American cheese, you know, uh, or the creamy cheese, you know, okay? So if you don't have cheese, you have eggs, you know? I, I like eggs also, you know? So how to make eggs, you know? There are many alternatives available, okay? Like tofu, egg salad, sandwich, you can make, okay? So if you eat, uh, Recipe sometimes make a lot of recipe to me. Uh, my memory is very bad. Uh, I cannot remember all kind of recipe. Uh, okay, and I don't like to memorize recipe. Also, I just based on my uh, remember what I have. No? But uh, I should share with you how I remember something about uh, uh, a recipe. Okay, usually I just take the most important ingredient. For example, this one just 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 now this uh, recipe. You use mashed tofu. Okay, the rest. You can turmeric, la, cumin, la, salt, la, garlic powder. La. You, you can add in. Uh, most important is mayonnaise substitute. Uh, you need to know how to make yourself make a plant-based mayonnaise without oil. Without oil, okay? To make to make together, wow, then you can be very good, okay? Uh, do you want to know how to make mayonnaise substitute? Okay, later, I'll tell you uh, where you can get all, all, all this information, okay? Uh, if you don't have, later, I will try to, this today, I'll try to, share some recipe with you okay uh, for that tofu scramble okay tofu scramble like egg scramble tofu same but they use extra firm tofu so that uh, the pieces pieces look like a scrambled tofu so a scrambled egg uh, turmeric powder very important so they become yellow color look like eggs already okay then you can add all kind of different things like garlic onion red pepper mushroom la, cumin and black pepper la. you can get all kind of things the most important you must catch a few more in important ingredient the rest is out of creativity you can get all kinds of things okay okay so same the whole spectrum okay omnivorous pesto ovo lacto then vegan is a stage by stage so that's why people say ah so that vegan is better okay it's healthier than mediterranean diet and healthier than ovo lacto vegetarian based on the adventist health study you remember the adventist health study just now okay so People should promote, go vegan. This is another level of food we should go about, okay? So, so when we talk about this, then don't forget there's another level that you can do even better, okay? Rather than just vegan alone, because you need to take care of the high fat content, okay? High fat content not necessarily just come from uh, meat itself or the processed food itself, okay? What do you think if you become a vegan, what kind of high fiber diet do you still can take? Okay, because this is another study that they show animal fat, higher more fat intake relate, related to breast cancer, okay, higher fat animal protein and lower fiber diet can increase or cancer risk as well. Okay. So the effect of low fat diet on breast cancer survival, this is important for those who have breast cancer, okay, survival, okay, uh, women, okay, uh, who consume low fat diet, lower chance to get breast cancer, okay and then lower chances to die from breast cancer as well, okay? Talk about breast cancer, uh, I just would like to make a small announcement, okay? Uh, next two weeks later, I'm not specific, next two weeks later, okay? 
we uh, we have a sharing in one of the cancer support group about food and cancer patient cancer patient what kind of food they can eat okay uh, I try to announce it in the Facebook okay are you seeing your uh, your PPT in the Facebook or YouTube or zoom if you're not they did that I post the Facebook link for you okay this Facebook I will post the recipe to you and then I post uh, some of the activity to you so that you can follow up for for this uh, event huh? okay so go for low fat diet low fat diet by definition is less than 20 percent of the total calorie from the fat low fat diet when by low fat for example salmon 40 percent over beef lean beef huh? over okay chicken no skin one also over tuna fish la, less oil la, okay still a little bit over okay uh, broccoli ah, 10 brown rice 7 beans 4 lentil 3 apple 3 orange 2 okay so all these are low fat diet low fat diet so how about oil okay mm, what do you mean by oil one tablespoon of oil equal to 120 calories what, what do you mean by 120 calories make it easier that way you take tea, three to four tablespoon of oil okay equal to 400 carat oil after you drink the four tablespoon of oil do you feel full no your stomach is not full yet you still need to eat more food in order to get yourself full or you still need to eat more extra food so that you can get more uh, more nutrient right correct okay same 400 carry of beef you take okay still not full you still need to eat more in order to feel full so indirectly you get more high calorie okay but how about 400 carry of veggie oh you get so full already you say enough 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 so you only eat 400 carry food but when you eat beef or just drink a bit of oil it's not enough so you beef plus, plus oil okay you it become 800 calorie okay it's already high calorie diet you still say that ah not full enough you still need to continue to eat until you get full okay so in in another way means go add oil okay increase your calorie at the same time you do get enough nutrient okay and you do get full the very high chance you will over calorie for example spaghetti add a tablespoon of oil is equal to same spaghetti with two extra cup of berry which one do you want to get higher nutrient intake definitely i will prefer the one no oil with two cup of berry extra otherwise i have less two berry less two cup berry of nutrient so definitely that one is better with berry without oil okay if you have two tablespoon of oil almost equal to carry equal to a cup of uh, 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 what they call a glass of coca uh, uh, soft drinks uh, or soft drink okay it's equal to 10 carrots 10 carrots 10 carrots is roughly equal to five cups of carrots can you eat five cups of carrot you can't eat five cups of carrot let's say you eat five cups of carrot you skip you get the same amount of calorie as 200 uh, two tablespoons of oil but at the same time you get a lot of fiber you get a lot of nutrient vitamin mineral in this 240 calorie bring together with all kind of nutrient to you rather than just take oil without any other nutrient besides just calorie with some vitamin e that's all okay so according to the uh, nova classification oil is considered a processed food because they, have, they need to go through a lot of processing in order to produce so good clear looking oil even some oil with some color okay some include some people say oh, how about i cold press cold press is something a, a fruit juice press the juice okay you eat olive uh, go ahead eat some olive but don't drink olive oil don't use olive so much of olive oil uh, so use and less oil to cook as possible okay so try to go for low calorie high fiber diet or called nutrient dense food nutrient dense food means amount of nutrient in certain calorie how much nutrient you can get in certain calorie so with the same amount of calorie you get more nutrient we call nutrient dense diet okay so go for nutrient dense food high dense food uh, some people call super food huh? okay uh, so high dense food low calorie high fiber diet this is the goal that you need to go about okay so definitely know all this ah, sorry no all this but later i'll try to give you what other substitute you can you can take huh? uh, both are plant-based also okay uh, one is natural one is with processed food right so with high oil as well 
Okay, so the next stage you can go after vegan is whole food plant based diet. Whole food plant based diet is just like a vegan. Don't take processed food and don't take oil and don't use oil to cook or very, very, very minimal of oil. Sometimes one teaspoon of oil to cook, you know, per, per meal per person, right? very minimal oil. Okay? We call whole food plant based diet. Okay. And then don't use sugar as less sugar as possible. Most of the sweetness they, they get from the original sauce. Uh, fruits, uh, etc., to make it sweetness. Okay, so uh, I would like to give an example. This is a case of a, a forty plus year old man. He's, he's an engineer. He's an engineer, suffer from hypertension, diabetes, and later followed by a, a heart disease. Uh, uh, we call it ischemic heart disease, means heart attack. Uh, advised by the heart surgeon, need to do some surgery. Okay, unfortunately, uh, because of financial reason. He, he was unable to afford all this treatment. So I have no choice. He changed his lifestyle, means he changed his diet, but no exercise because he, he do not, he's, he's always complain that no, no time to do exercise, just on diet. Uh, this is, uh, I think three years later. Okay. So he, his condition much better. He no need to take medication for diabetes, no need to take medication for hypertension anymore, and no need to go for all kinds of heart surgery anymore. Okay. To me, this is called reversal. Okay. Uh, not only called manage something, it's called reversal. Okay. Now, having said that, I, I, I strongly advise you follow up with your doctor. Okay. Don't become a doctor yourself. Okay. Change with the diet and don't see a doctor anymore. Okay. Still follow your doctor advice. Okay. But it's just to prove that whole food plant-based diet, they do a lot of difference. So whole food plant-based diet, some people short form plant-based diet, but right, it's called whole food. Okay. Whole food means the whole food without processed, whole food without oil. You know? Oil is not whole food. So there's no meat, no fish, no eggs, no butter. No? And then they have all kinds of fruit, vegetables, nuts, legumes, grain, etc. Okay. So, so uh, uh, same thing, no, uh, no egg, no milk, no refined, no processed food. Very less oil if possible. Very, very less oil if possible. Okay. No sugar at all if possible. Otherwise, very, very, very less sugar. Salt to taste because salt to taste. A little bit salt is more than enough. Okay. Salt to taste. So because there are more and more studies that show that plant-based diet, they help for type 2 diabetes to lose weight, lower your cholesterol, improve your uh, sugar control, reduce your heart disease risk. Okay. And this is a... Uh, uh, I consider him one of my mentor, my first mentor, okay, many years ago when I started to research into this field, okay, he's called Dr. Professor Colin Campbell, okay, he's an emeritus professor in the nutritional field, okay, in one of the famous professors in Cornell University, widely researched, a lot of research paper, okay, he did a China study, they did a 20 year study in China for 20 years, different food habit, they found out that even from five, ten percent of the meat reduced to zero percent, you can still can see the difference to improve your health. Okay. And after the study, he himself become someone uh, to take plant-based diet. Plant-based diet. Okay. Um, he raised in the dairy farm. Okay. Meat is everywhere. Um, there's interview asking why you want to change your whole food plant-based diet. He said what? I'm just paying attention to what the data are telling me. The scientific evidence came first. Okay, so he's the one who can control his desire. Okay, and shift the whole thing to plant-based diet. And he's eighty something, eighty over, eighty-six years old, or eighty-seven. I can't remember. Eighty over years old. Okay, in the middle. Okay, heavily promoting uh, whole food plant-based diet. Okay, this is uh, Doctor Essenstein. He's a cardiologist. Okay, using plant-based diet to reverse heart disease. Okay. And this is Dr. Kim. Dr. Kim is a uh, is a former president of the American Heart uh, uh, Association. Okay, so they are promoting uh, plant based diet as well. And this is Dr. Eisenstein research paper being published out. Okay, they show that even there are some cases of uh, heart disease when the heart artery, heart blood vessels being blocked. Okay, they can be reversed without surgery or without stent. Okay, they can be reversed. Okay, same thing. 
and show the picture to you to show you there are a lot of things a plant-based diet can do but but please continue to follow up your doctor advice okay so even Chelsea Clinton, okay, he's organized a, a vegan wedding, vegan wedding, okay, uh, uh, for, for many, actually many people know about the advantage of a plant-based diet, okay, uh, uh, especially whole food plant-based, but my, not many people, public members know about whole food plant-based, okay, because uh, the awareness is not there, okay, uh, this is an interview with Bill Clinton, okay, and they interview him, uh, why you take up a whole food plant-based diet. How do you lose so much weight? Uh, what kind of diet are you on? Uh, the short answer is I went on essentially a plant-based diet. I live on uh, uh, beans, legumes, vegetables, fruit. I drink a protein supplement every morning, I, no dairy. I drink almond milk mixed in with fruit and a protein powder. So I get the protein for the day when I start the day out. And it changed my whole metabolism and I lost 24 pounds you, you can see um, some people change diet because they want to do prevention rather than cure okay that's a smarter people lah, okay uh, do, to me Bill Clinton said have a lot of things to learn because when he got problem he started to change a plant-based diet so there's two ways why whether you want to uh, uh, have problem with the change of plant-based diet or, or or later and I lost 24 pounds and I got back to basically what I weighed in high school but I did it for a different reason but I mean I want to lose a little weight but I didn't ever dream this would happen I did it because after I had this stent put in I realized that even though it happens quite often that after you have bypasses you lose the veins because they're thinner and weaker than arteries the truth is that it clogged up which means that the cholesterol was still calling buildup in my vein that was part of my bypass. And thank God I could take the stents. I don't want it to happen again. So now the latest guideline come up from American College of Lifestyle Medicine. This is an easier guideline. Don't follow the pyramid anymore because you may not be able to understand the whole pyramid. Now the pyramid idea have switched to all this plate method. Okay, This is by American College of Lifestyle Medicine with half half of the food are, are vegetable and fruit vegetable must be more than fruit a quarter a quarter is plant protein or kind of beans are nuts are tofu are legumes are. and then the one quarter is by whole grain uh, uh, bread you can whole grain whole grain uh, uh, bread okay whole grain uh, spaghetti is okay okay don't use for those come from flour especially bridge a white flour is not good for you okay and drink water only okay then the food how to make it taste better you use a lot of herbs and spices to to do it okay this is some of the picture that uh, i do it myself okay? not very professional photo huh? okay so all these sauces you can make myself okay using the whole food without adding any oil as well okay this is my breakfast okay no oil as well okay um, this one maybe i can share the recipe to you in the facebook later you're going to like the facebook okay uh tasty veggie facebook okay i will kind of send this recipe to you okay this is use some oatla, uh some uh, chia seed uh, okay uh, with soy milk mixed together as my breakfast okay this is uh same thing uh, whole food plant-based with the oil right? uh, this masala also very very less oil you can make uh, uh, Indian dishes as well okay Indian dishes wonderful because they have lots of spices okay a lot of herbs and spices as long as you can do it without oil very less oil you can have very healthy Indian dishes okay this is no oil at all okay uh, this is no oil at all look like chicken okay uh, tastes like chicken but it's not chicken okay Okay. so this is how row you can do okay so uh, you need to learn to do all kind of paste okay okay all this paste you can keep inside refrigerator and then use for your break for breakfast okay sometimes even lunch i use it okay so uh, i just show you one of the video of how to make a mango uh, chutney okay without even cooking also no oil as well okay of course there are many versions is available huh? to make the chutney Simply combine the mango paste 
diced mangoes, ginger, chilies, minced red onion, cilantro, and fresh lime juice. That's how easy it is to make your own healthy and delicious chutney, free of added sugars, artificial colors, and preservatives. Simple, right? So some people want to make a more Indian style, they add some more herbs inside to make uh, another type of version of mango chutney. So the challenges come, oh, how to go for plant-based diet. Some people say, I, I don't know how to cook, how? No, I still don't know how to cook. Or I know how to cook, but I no time to cook. Eat outside, how? Okay. So uh, actually, uh, uh, we have tried to organize, we have organized now, it's going on the Healthy 21, the 21 days uh, healthy diet program. We use food to manage weight and uh, no, uh, lifestyle illnesses. Okay. And we, we can, sorry. Okay. And then we use food to, we try to get this food to deliver to your office at your home as well. And we can do blood tests before and after to see your changes. Okay. This program have been, has been start starting in the different uh, community. Okay. Hopefully one day you have a chance to get used to uh, get to know about this program. You can enroll to this program. Okay. If you have a chance. Uh, okay. So they cook for you and deliver to you. Okay. Uh, but, but this is, uh, this project is all a non-profit. We are just a platform. Okay. To, to organize with a restaurant. Okay. So we don't take any money at all for this project. Okay. So this is certain food that I make. Okay. So we have a QC team, okay, to check what kind of food they are serving, okay, how's the taste of life in nutritious, okay or not, okay, uh, all kind of food, okay. For those who do not know how to cook or know how to cook, but I need to know more recipe, okay, uh, do you know about this Facebook? Try to join this Facebook, okay, Tasty Veggie Facebook. Uh, now everyone can cook, okay, there are lots and lots of recipe inside, okay. You remember, remember, you want to go for whole food plant-based, okay? Whole food without eggs, without milk, no oil or very less oil and very, very less sugar, okay? So inside there are many recipes for you to choose. Some, the food fit into this criteria, some not fit into this criteria. You can choose and modify yourself, okay? Okay, I, uh, and... And later, I try later, if I got time, I try to uh, put in a, uh, some recipe and do this uh, Facebook, okay? So that later you can follow up, okay? And then about, uh, I'm going to give a talk regarding uh, cancer. I'm not sure when yet, okay? Most likely next week, if I got time, I check the timetable. So we'll be announced in the Tasty Veggie Facebook as well. And then the cancer support group, they give a, we have a, a PhD, from Australia, he go and give a, a talk about food in and in and cancer in cancer patient. What kind of food they eat, how to eat. So if you have any friends who did need this information, okay, you can get uh, directly from the Tasty Veggie uh, Facebook. Huh? Okay. So whole spectrum from a set diet, S A D, very set, no standard American diet. Okay, the whole process, reduce sweets, uh, reduce fast food, uh, then regain, uh, uh, then later stop the meat, uh, stop dairy, uh, stop egg, uh, less oil, uh, no oil, uh, then eat more vegetable. The whole process to lead to the whole food plant-based eating plan. I hope everyone okay, can transition from this to that. Okay, Don't keep your family member or kids especially this type of diet, go for this type of diet, huh? A transition period. Okay. Lastly, I would like to thank uh, Mr. Uh, Tim. Tim is a, uh, he is an American who stayed in Malaysia for 10 years. Okay. Eat a lot of good food. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Uh, and this is, this picture take is 2019 December in last year, end of last year. Okay. Then because of sudden issue, later he know about plant-based diet shift the whole food plant-based diet and nine months later dropped by 25 kilogram and now he's heavily promoting whole food plant-based diet as well with a lot of plant-based doctor to educate people okay about the advantage of plant-based diet so yeah, i it always motivate me i think it always motivate a lot of people if if mr team okay can do this in nine months uh, i'm sure you can do it as well okay what you need to do is to stop a desire and 
remember also uh, the source of greenhouse gases okay okay uh, you may notice mostly it come from red meat chicken eggs or all kind of snack a uh, processed food okay and also dairy product also if you can stop all these things you can notice majority okay of the greenhouse effect is all come from animal based food animal based food and as well as uh, processed food as well so it's also very very environment friendly as well so i always say that plant-based diet used to be uh, your choice, you know, your choice. I say it's up to your choice. Something like you, 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 you smoke up to your choice. Okay, but I found that now is our responsibility now. Okay, not responsible our own health and responsible for our environment on our earth. Okay, because we all are interconnected now. Okay, environment issue lead to COVID. Okay, lead to all kind of zoonotic diseases. We can all kind of viruses all related to. Uh, environment issue and majority on the environment issue it come from animal based protein okay so have courage to become a proud vegetarian ah do it ah vegetarian we keep quiet ah, no you must have a courage no because you are doing the right thing okay you're not good you do great thing for yourself and do a great thing for the earth okay announce yourself i am a plant based uh, advocate okay i'll be a proud vegetarian just a like mr team Okay, he is now a plant-based advocate in nine months. Right? Okay, so I like to show this video at, at the ending because it serves a lot of purpose. You you may see when you start plant-based diet, surrounding members, surrounding all your friends, all suddenly become a nutritionist. All will tell you, oh, don't eat lah because of what problem lah. Suddenly everybody become so care about you when you take plant-based diet. But if you eat everyday fast food, nobody care about you. They eat healthy, everybody start to concern and care about you, right? This is Vegan Star. Vegan Star. Eight years ago, I decided to go vegan. No more milk and eggs, fish and cow, and even chicken. Everyone thought that it was just a diet. This is vegan style. Oh, oh, oh. This is vegan style. Hey, vegan lady. Oh, 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 oh. So be more confident because you are living a normal lifestyle, okay, and a responsible lifestyle, okay. So uh, let's say become a proud plant based diet advocate, okay, and thank you very much. And thank you for for listening to this all this information. And uh, I do not uh, know how to can keep on in touch with you anymore in the future. Okay, uh, but try to join this Facebook Tasty Veggie. Okay, uh, and inside also I will try to see I can post uh, just now the oats the morning oats they are making. Okay, uh, what brand uh, do I uh, where do I buy you know and uh, what kind of oats do I buy? Yeah, I will share. You. I try to share the face Facebook with you together. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Eddie. Can earn so much uh, for giving us your professional advice. Yeah, to benefit us. Um, truly, we can see Dr. Eddie's uh, dedication and um, passion to promote this plant-based diet. Yeah, because uh, he has uh, gone beyond. Yeah, he's. Uh, dietary training uh, to go into uh, nutritional lifestyle. So I suppose many of us online actually uh, actually have been, uh, like, like me, have been vegetarian for many years, but uh, definitely after seeing Dr. Eddie's uh, presentation, there is so many so much room for improvement uh, because our eating ha habits, as you say just now, is habitual. We learn it from our parents. So there's a paradigm shift that's involved in doing whole plant-based, which is like what Dr. said just now, whole, unprocessed, less oil because they're extracted, less sugar because they're extracted. Eat everything whole as much as possible. Okay, so I would like to uh, say, uh, quote our 
CEO recently, uh, 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 Sister Echo, she said to love our health is actually to cherish our lives so that we can use it to the highest value. So I hope uh, all of us can consider uh, Dr. Eddie's advice to practice in your own environment. It doesn't mean that we want you to change, or I can, I, even I can't do that, to change immediately. But it's a process that slowly let us move from uh, the traditional ways that may not be so healthy into the better way, which is whole, uh, whole food that is healthier and more nutrient dense. So balance, uh, we hope balance is the key because you also do not want to stress out your families, you know, or yourself trying to keep up with all this. But basically today's information is to benefit you one step at a time. So I understand there are so many questions that we have received uh, online. So we would like to um, go straight into the Q&A session. Um, okay, Dr. Eddie, we have uh, Sister Ang Kai She. At the moment, we are going to close all the mics here yeah, because there are just too many people. So we like to just carry on without being uh, uh, being disturbed. So uh, Sister Ang Kai She, she has uh, actually many questions. But I'll just pick one, right? She says that uh, can she incorporate supplements into our diet? Do we need to incorporate supplements into our diet just in case we worry? Um, because she's uh, still moving into, so just started moving into this plant-based, right? Just in case we worry not having enough nutrition like iron, mineral, etc. Dr. Eddie? Okay. Whether you take set diet as Eddie or up to whole food plant-based diet, you can continue your supplement. It's not an issue. However, we need to know that as long as your diet is not balanced, is not balanced, your supplement couldn't help. So you still need a balanced diet. Means according to the plate, half multi fruit and vegetable, one quarter grain and one quarter plant protein. Okay, so you still need you can continue your supplement. It's not an issue at all. But don't think that supplement can solve your problem. Mm, mm, ah, okay. Mm. Ah, so supplements ah, also have a lot of fillers and stuff like that, right? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, but I, mm. I would say that supplement there are many types available. Okay, mm. there's and a branch. Rates, of, yeah? uh, mm. there are, yes, there are branch of there are certain branch of medicine we do use supplement for treatment of certain condition. Right. Okay. Right. Ah, right. okay. Right. But in generally, in generally, you can take mm. your supplement. Okay, but don't think your supplement can solve all your problem. Okay, don't think supplement can solve all problem. Uh, go with as much. Uh, of the, uh, the 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 food plate as much as possible. That's the guideline, doctor. Yep. Yes. All right, great. Okay, okay. We have another question. Uh, by I this is uh, I think uh, uh, Miss Sivamani who would like to ask doctor. Doctor, is it okay if I only take egg whites? Doctor, cannot hear. Doctor. Me. Can you hear me? I can. I can already. Okay. Sorry. Okay. okay doctor, we have a question mm. by this uh, Miss Sivamani. Mm. Is it okay if we only take egg whites? If I want to take eggs. Okay. People thought that egg white because uh, no cholesterol. Mm. That's why they take egg, uh, egg white. Okay. But my dad, egg white have a very high concentrate of animal protein. Okay as well as saturated fat as well. Ah. So when, why you take egg white? Because you want the protein, right? That's the reason you take egg white. Otherwise, why you take egg white? Because you want the protein. There's so many different sources of food available with protein. Okay. Right. Uh, eggs with protein. Okay. Uh, not eggs, uh, beans with protein. Okay. All kinds of bean protein. As I just mentioned, even eat spinach, okay, eat broccoli, they all are protein as long as you eat until you're full. Okay. Don't get hungry. Lah, huh? Okay. Hmm. It's enough. Okay. Uh, unless, unless you're talking about, no, I just want to eat eggs. Not, not because of protein. Yeah. I just want to eat the egg taste. Yeah. Okay? There's nothing right. much I can offer you. But, <laughs> but, 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 I see like I've got time on that. I can try to offer you a way how to make it taste like eggs, smell like egg. Lah. Okay. 
doctor, you uh, have an omelette, right? Eggless omelette recipe. Eggless, yes. Uh, in, in research, in research. <laughs> <laughs> on tasty veggie, coming up next. Uh, uh, there was more for taste, uh, but in nutritional okay. value, you do right. not need egg white uh, for, for mm, protein. Understand. So it's either nutritional value or basically just to fulfill your taste buds, right? Okay, doctor, I think you need to unmute yourself. Uh, doctor, you need to unmute yourself. Doctor, you need to unmute yourself. Uh, can you hear okay, me? Can, can, ready, can, ready. Can, uh? Uh, okay. okay, all right. Okay, very quickly. We have one more question here. Um, so on Sister Chin Yen. She says, I have muscle tingling or spasm and have been told to consume magnesium supplement since I am on a meatless diet. Is it possible that I am not consuming the correct mix of ingredients or food that caused this to happen? Okay. Uh, stiffness in the muscle, okay. Tingling. Uh, tingling, okay. Uh, there are many reasons I cannot, uh, I cannot uh, substitute, uh, I cannot substitute or give advice on your behalf of your doctor. Okay. 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 I myself, I do use magnesium to treat certain condition. Okay. Okay. But congratulations, you are on plant-based diet because many magnesium sources are come from plant-based. Okay. Bean, they call magnesium. Cocoa powder, they have a lot of magnesium in cocoa powder. So cocoa, cocoa powder, powder is good. Go, go for cocoa powder. Okay. So ne never, ne never, many people when they suffer from illness, okay, they don't, they never, they seldom think that uh, um, the illness that suffer because of the meat that they take. They always think that the illness that suffer because of the, 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 the veggie diet that I take. Okay. So when you eat pakute, nobody will see, tell you how to eat pakute, right? Uh, but when we talk about uh, eat plant-based diet, everybody will ask how to eat plant-based diet. Uh, mm. uh, but nobody asks you how to eat proper fried chicken, proper <laughs> fried kway teow. Nobody will ask you that. So don't worry about that. Go ahead, follow your doctor advice, continue your magnesium supplement, okay? Mm -hmm. High magnesium, cocoa powder, high magnesium. Cocoa powder, high magnesium. Okay, Sister Chin Suan, hope that uh, answers your question. We also have cocoa powder, Jinsu product, right? Uh, oh, you can post it there also. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. Uh, one more from me here on Zoom, uh, because next we're going to go to YouTube channel for the, our host there, uh, Sister Xiao Ching, to take all the questions there. Okay, one more question is, uh, uh, Dr. Eddie, I would like to ask, how to, I have a baby that is below two years old. Uh, is it possible, is it suitable to apply vegan diet uh, to my child? And what is your thought on the blood type diet? Oh, blood type diet, that's another type of diet. Okay, but first type, question, vegan baby. Okay, for vegan baby. Okay. Yep. The, the best milk in baby is breast milk. Mm, okay. Vegan diet for baby below 12, is it suitable? Um, the best milk is breast milk first. Breast milk, right. okay. If you do not have breast milk because of some issue, of course, no choice. You can go for formula milk. Mm -hmm. Go for formula milk, okay. Uh, research shown that baby on plant-based, okay, veggie baby, the IQ usually is higher. It link with higher IQ, okay. Mm. So you ask me, I will, I will tell parents, Try to restrict your fish, ah, okay? until when? Until ibu papa tak boleh tahan, okay? Then only you eat fish, okay? That means prolong as long as possible. Vegan is not an issue, okay? Vegan only got two issue. Uh, only one issue actually. You can take two issue. One is vitamin D. Vitamin D, okay? Mm. Vitamin D. Follow nature. Vitamin D come from sunlight. Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, because of our lifestyle now, we do not have vitamin D. Okay. So people say that hey, fish oil got vitamin D, you know, fish got some vitamin D, you know, okay. Just give you a statistic, 50% of the population in Malaysia, especially children, do not have enough vitamin D. So they found that most natural and the best source of vitamin D is still come from sunlight. Okay, mm -hmm. not from food. Okay, don't think of uh, fish oil, la, no, uh, uh, caught fish la, uh, to get the vitamin D sources. They're not reliable. The most reliable is from sunlight. If you do not have sunlight because of lifestyle, you can take vitamin D supplement. Very important, vitamin D supplement. And uh, this is one supplement that I can tell you, I can tell you can take, okay? Whether you are vegan or not, whether you are taking animal product or not, you still best to take vitamin D if you do have actual sunlight. Another supplement you need to think about is vitamin B12. Right. 
Ah, people say, "Ayah, we got no vitamin B12." Okay, vitamin B12 is not in the meat. They are not produced by the beef. They are not produced by the pork. Vitamin B12 is produced by bacteria. Okay, mm -hmm. bacteria in the soil they produce vitamin B12. Okay, so when all the cow uh, eat the grass, they also touch the soil, so they eat the B12 also. Okay, ah. and then the stomach in the cow fermentation, the bacteria produce a lot of B12 also. Okay, so uh, sorry, uh, our feces uh, also got a lot of B12, you know, because our feces got a lot of bacteria. The bacteria produce the B12. Okay, but it's just that uh, uh, upper cut part of the gut absorb the B12. Unfortunately, our bacteria is a lower part of the gut. Uh, so we cannot absorb the B12. Okay. So B12 is everywhere from dirty things. So got dirt, huh? a lot of B12. Okay. So human do not have B12 problem all the while because we are staying in the jungle. We stay in the farm day and night. We're touching so many dirty things inside our mouth. Okay. So we don't, don't have <laughs> ah, we don't have B12 issue at all. Okay. okay. Unfortunately, when a lot of stuff getting cleaner and cleaner, sanitized, okay? mm. so we do not have all this B12 anymore. So if you're on vegan or veggie, okay, try to take B12 supplement. B12 supplement is so cheap, okay? So, so cheap supplement, you can enjoy the rest of the benefit of taking a plant-based diet. Okay. So what is the supplement, doctor? Let's say for this two-year-old. Huh? For the two-year-old baby, yeah. Now, now a lot of... B12. A lot of... Now, now a lot of formula, a lot oh. of cereal, okay, 45. they are already 45 B12. So it's, yeah. not, it's not easy to get B12 deficiency, okay? Right. okay? You want to get B12 supplement, you can, okay? But most of the cereal nowadays, you know, a lot of, uh, uh, even milk you have B12 now, okay? So they have B12. So it's, it's not easy to get B12 deficiency. But as otherwise, if you take veggie or vegan for a long time, okay, go and buy a B12 supplement. But for baby vegan, it's not an issue at all. Because according to the American Dietetic Association, all stage of life, start from baby until old man, okay, properly planned veggie diets is enough for nutrition, prevention, even for treatment of illnesses. All right. Okay, understand. So very quickly, there's one question I say, is B12 obtainable from miso? Miso. Miso contain B12 because of certain fermentation. Process. Um, uh, fermentation. Okay. Okay. So, uh, to me, it's not a reliable source of B12. Okay. Mm -hmm. The reliable source of B12, B12 is from dirty things, uh, dirty feces, then go around. That's the most reliable source. Or go for supplement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, people say tempeh, uh, all kind of fermented food, there's a B12. Yes, there is. Right. Okay. But whether the sufficient. amount sufficient or not. Okay. Uh, but mind you that, a lot of uh, cereal now, no, uh, uh, the B12, all are actually B12 supplement fortified. Mm. Okay, a lot of uh, milk formula that they buy for baby, you no, know, okay, uh, buy for children. All the B12 inside are also actually come from B12 supplement put inside the milk. Okay, mm. so same 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 thing. Okay, so don't worry about the B12 supplement. Don't worry about B12 and get the uh, sunlight to get your vitamin D. Yes. Right. Uh, you, uh, or you can cover your head, okay? Uh, according to the study, you can cover your head, okay? Just expose your arm and your leg, okay? Oh. For 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, okay? At the best, la, the best mm. they say is from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., 10 minutes. All right. That's the best, la, okay? That's why old people uh, those days are also uh, must take the kid babies to go uh, out to sun. Uh, uh, you, can right. cover, you can cover your head still. Cover their face, okay? All right, now uh, we have some questions coming from uh, YouTube. Sister Xiaoqing is our host uh, on YouTube. Yeah. Any okay, questions uh, on your side, right? Yeah, there are total three questions. Uh, good day. Uh, thank you, Sister Stephanie. Thank you, uh, Dr. Eddie, for the amazing talk. The first question uh, from uh, uh, YouTube viewer by the name of Ling Yao Eng uh, asked for a plant based diet, is the amount of calcium 100 mg required the same as for? Omnivore diet. Okay. Uh, cal calcium, calcium requirement, whether you're taking animal-based or plant-based, are all the same. Okay. 
cal calcium, uh, I don't advise people to take calcium supplement because now they found that calcium supplement uh, somehow can lead to uh, your blood vessel hardening. Uh, don't go for calcium supplement, okay? Vitamin D supplement is more important because vitamin D enough to help you to absorb your calcium. Help your calcium. So there are many high calcium uh, uh, plant-based food as well. Especially, I always like green leaf vegetable. Okay, most of the green color vegetable they have high calcium intake as uh, high calcium as well. So as long as remember the plate, follow the plate method. Okay, you will get enough calcium provided you eat enough. Okay, you eat enough. Okay, exposed to sunlight, calcium is not the issue. In fact, they found out that those who take more animal-based protein, they get higher chances to get osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. That's why osteoporosis now is getting worse and worse. Despite we get more and more milk to drink, we get more and more meat to eat, and we still get osteoporosis. Okay. So when you talk about calcium, don't look to the nutrient alone. Look for the outcome. The outcome is more important. Yeah, answer the question. Okay, thank you. Next one is if allergic to nuts, what is the substitute? Uh, nuts is not the main diet you can take because nuts, uh, normally we, take, we say that take a handful of nuts is enough. Okay, don't take a lot of nuts because nuts also have high oil or so besides of other nutrients. So if you are allergic to nuts, protein sources for the nuts all can come from beans. All can come from beans, all kind of beans. Okay, so no nuts, but you can go for bean. Uh, soybean, red bean, green bean, okay, what kind of bean? Go for bean. Okay, thank you, doctor. Okay, next uh, question, uh, uh, the last one from YouTube site from Anisha Wong. Currently, our protein source is from eggs. A family member is advised not to consume nuts, beans, legumes due to high urine acid. What other alternative source of plant-based protein available? Okay. Uh, there's a myth going on. High uric acid, high uric acid, you look for research, high uric acid, the main source of high uric acid are come from meat intake, okay? Especially seafood, alcohol intake, fructose intake. Fructose means uh, sugar, uh, fruit sugar, processed fruit sugar, like sweet drinks, uh, you know, uh, all the sweets, uh, kind of junk food, uh, they all have uh, sweet things to use fructose. Uh, okay, uh, all these are called, they call it fruit sugar, uh, words sound very nice. Okay, all this can cause high uric acid. Okay, if you are high uric acid, okay, what to do? Stop meat intake if possible. The protein source come from plant sources, bean sources. Research shown that bean contain uric acid, but however, taking bean itself do, does not make your uric acid condition get worse. Okay, very funny, okay, very funny. Okay, uh, recently Singapore study also came out, say the same thing. For those who have high uric acid, your protein sources come from bean. Do not need to worry about the uric acid in the bean. So that's a wonderful thing. Why we say that? Because bean beside have certain amount of uric acid, there's a lot of fiber, protein, phytochemical, you know, plant protein or plant chemical all inside. They're all as a whole package, okay? They're just not uric acid alone, whole package. We believe, we believe there are a lot of other nutrients in the bean, okay? Help help, okay, so that even being containing high uric acid, containing uric acid, you do not have a problem of getting worse of your uric acid. So I would advise if you have high uric acid, don't stop, uh, eat more, eat bean as a source of protein rather than all the meats, uh, okay. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, Sister Xiaoqing and Kan En, uh, Dr. Eddie. Uh, uh, you seem to me like a walking dictionary. Every question also you have a very in-depth answer. Can't answer so much. Okay, we shall now move on to our Facebook uh, platform where Sister Chin Suan is the is hosting the QA session. Sister Chin Suan. Yeah, there is one question here from Rachel Ang. She, uh, she said that I have a friend suffering from iron deficiency anemia. Is there any ways for her to adopt a balanced diet by being a vegetarian? Okay. First, research shown that 
whether you're taking animal based or taking plant based diet, okay, your chances to get anemia, I mean not enough blood, uh, the risk is similar. That means that uh, you're taking plant based diet, your chances to get not enough blood is the same as those animals, those are uh, eating meat. So, no difference. Conclusion means taking plant based diet do not make yourself become easy to get not enough iron. That's why you may notice some of your friends who have, do not have enough iron. That's why they don't have enough blood. But they are eating meat, no? Uh, this case, is, am I correct? Uh? They're eating yes. meat. I see, man, I see many cases that are eating meat, but they still don't have enough iron. Okay? Mm. Uh, uh, but we don't know the reason why. There are many reasons behind. Uh, okay? Some people got cancer. Uh, some got worms inside the gut. Uh, no? This one, you need to ask a doctor to find the reason why you have low iron. Okay, of course, I'm sure your treatment with iron, okay, but why there's low iron? So this one, ask for doctor for advice, okay? But my, my side, as far as I know is, they do not cause not enough iron, okay? But one thing, very interesting thing you need to know, many people will tell you, uh, plant iron, the absorption is lower compared to animal iron. It's true, it's true, no? Second, second sentence, nobody tell you. Uh, it's a fact, uh, so they tell you. Uh, any plant iron absorption based on your body needs. If your body needs more, the absorption is faster. For example, if you get pregnant, you get iron not enough, the absorption is faster. You take uh, plant iron. Animal iron is faster absorption, but whether your body needs or not, they still absorb. So that's the reason when you take uh, iron tablet uh, as a medicine, uh, iron tablet, uh, high dose can cause uh, iron poisoning because they are come from animal iron. So where the body need iron, not they still absorb, you know? Okay. So what's the problem now? When you eat more animal iron, fast absorption, iron high in your body, okay? High iron is oxidant. Now, vitamin C is antioxidant, good for our health, right? Okay. Iron is a pro-oxidant that can lead to cancer, la, heart attack, la, stroke, la, okay? All these are related to high iron. That's the reason why Singapore did a study recently with a lot of Chinese women. They found that those who eat fish also, they still have higher chances to get diabetes, okay? Not because, not only because of mercury, because of the animal iron inside the fish, okay? So, so my suggestion is if your, if your friend got iron deficiency problem, look for a doctor, okay? Continue the treatment. The iron sources come from the plant, it's safe. Okay, a uh, high iron also comes from a lot of green leaf vegetable. Okay, beans contain iron. Uh, green leaf vegetable contain a lot of iron as well. Uh, green color usually got a lot of iron. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Uh, Sister Chin Suan, any more questions one from last, Facebook? Uh, one last question from Pali Mona. Uh, what's your thought on blood type diet? Oh, blood type diet. Uh. Okay. First, I would say that Blood type diet is called considered FAD diet. FAD diet means uh, a diet that has certain period of time, very popular. A lot of people follow after some time because of certain reason not effective. Then they start to slow down. Okay, so blood type diet is quite popular in last time. Okay, now seldom people heard about blood type diet anymore. Okay, okay, so because they don't, they, they partly they don't serve the purpose of promoting your own health. Lah. That's what I say. Lah, huh? okay. But I also must confess that I do not have enough knowledge of the blood type diet. Okay. But personally, personally, okay, I believe, okay, I believe you want to get a diet, a diet, okay, this good for your health, promoting good for your health and can be sustainable. That's very important. That's very important. Okay. Just now, uh, Stephanie talked about a uh, balanced diet. Okay. The definition of balanced diet is eat some proportion, proportion, okay, of food with a certain quantity, certain quantity, which the food is good for your health and growth. We call it balanced diet. Okay, so animal protein, animal fat produce a lot of issue nowadays. Okay, I think consider it is one of the healthy food fit into definition of the balanced diet, okay? So many people misuse balanced diet is, oh, I eat everything, we got balance, you know, okay? Uh, or all kind of junk food also eat, cockroach, meat also eat, barbecue also eat. So all kind of food, they called balance, ma, balanced diet, you know? You know we're misusing the definition of balanced yes. diet. Uh, deviated. 
Yes. Uh, so remember, take proportion. Uh, like remember the plate proportion the plate. with certain quantity mm. of the food which can help to promote your health and your growth. We call it right. a balanced diet. Balance diet. So always refer back to the plate. Like that's what you're saying, Dr. Eddie. Yep. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so uh, Sister Chin Swan, any more questions on your side? If not, I'll continue with our Zoom questions. Uh, looks like we are running out of time, but Doctor, can we have some extended time from you? And... Okay, great. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're so kind and really, uh, we, 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 we have many more questions here. Okay, I have one that is... Uh... All right, somebody says uh, she is gluten uh, intolerant and... Uh, wait, uh gluten intolerant and uh, dairy, uh, what do you call that? Lactose intolerant. Gluten intolerant and lactose intolerant. So are there any, so whole food diet is very suitable like in that case, Hanaya? Yep, correct. So 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 they, you, they, you, they must have some reason why you started gluten-free diet and casein-free diet. Right? We call gluten-free, casein-free diet. There are certain condition of the uh, people need that type of diet for certain medical condition, uh, for medical condition, okay? So, of course, uh, when we talk about uh, lactose uh, dairy product, of course, it's not in the whole food plant base, okay? But wheat contain gluten, wheat, oats, okay? Called rye, R-Y-E, rye, and small amount in barley also, they contain gluten, okay? Brown rice, no gluten, millet, no gluten, Quinoa, no gluten. Okay, this one you can choose. Uh. There are many grains available. Uh. You can look around. Okay, doctor, we have a question. Uh. If we want to get, uh, we want to participate in the 21 day uh, diet, right? Mm. Uh, who shall we contact? Okay, so we are now starting in the region. We are trying to work with other organization as mm. well, okay, mm. to try to popularize to, to the surrounding people. So right. that especially work for those people who are working, okay, you have really right. no chance to cook and eat outside food, cannot find good food, okay. We try to work on it, okay. At the moment, uh, uh, I do not know how to keep contact with you. Have you liked the Facebook already? Yeah, Tasty Veggie Facebook, okay. Try to like the Tasty Veggie Facebook. Join the Facebook. Tasty Veggie Facebook. Facebook. Okay. So it will be updated in there, is it? Yeah, we try to do it. Uh, we try to ask the Tasty Veggie Facebook to organizer where they can update this event, not when it, yes. when it, when it comes. I, I'm, sure, I'm sure they can uh, because yeah, yeah. we're all in the same yeah, organization. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This is the round number what uh, of your 21-day challenge. Round number what? Uh? Uh, you have uh, many rounds of 21-day challenge with you. No, we're just starting only. Just starting. Just starting. Uh, we're going okay. starting. I, I can tell you that we, we uh, okay, we, we cannot formally say that. Uh, one week after, we, we're 21 days, seven days over, we have done a Zoom with all the participants. Mm. There are some participants, blood pressure from 150 drop to 130. Okay. Mm. Uh, there are some sugar from seven to eight drop to four to five. Okay. Wow. Uh, uh, so they're asking, can they stop the medicine? I said, please don't stop your medicine. You need to see doctor for advice before you right. can adjust your medicine dose. Okay. So, so there's many good feedback about it. Okay. Uh, so we try to work with on, on it. With how can we do it in a more skilled manner? Okay. So that okay. more people can benefit from it. Okay. okay. But keep in touch. Uh, keep in touch. Uh. Go to like okay. the Facebook. <laughs> So to for the convenience of everybody here, actually, uh, we have actually set up uh, this Tasty Veggie Facebook yeah a group right to give you all the recipes that is plant based. Uh, they some of them like Doctor said just now yeah it may not uh, meet the requirement of whole food yeah whole plant based food. But never mind, uh, go in get to know about uh, vegetarianism or or, or, or plant based but vegan. So but from there there are many updates. If there are any more uh, twenty one day challenge, please get yourself updated when you join the Tasty Veggie Facebook group. Okay, now um, more questions. I will take on until five o'clock. Is that okay with you, doctor? Sorry? Is that okay? Okay, what? Uh, is that okay to take questions until five o'clock? Uh, yes. Can I? Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, there's one question here. Um, uh, the, this uh, sister Maggie, she says she is told that vitamin D that you said just now, a supplement, uh, is extracted from animals. Oh. Mm. And she couldn't get any vegan vitamin D in the pharmacy. Is that uh, true, doctor? Or do you have any advice, Kanan? Oh, well, very good questions. Uh. Uh, you ask these questions, uh, I never think about it. Uh. Let me check and see. Okay, let me check and see. Uh, maybe you, you leave out your, 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 your contact. Yeah. I will later ask. Yeah. I can answer. Please I can give answer. me your contact mm. in the chat group, yeah? Mm. Please give me the contact in the chat group. Uh, doctor mm. will get back to you on that. Mm. 
Okay. Doctor, is your slide uh, available to public? Uh? My, my slide, uh, you yeah. don't need to see my slide. You already see the YouTube there. You already see the Facebook Live there. It's already uh, can there. I repeat? Uh? Uh, you can repeat and play and play and see, play and see, play and see. Uh, okay, wonderful. Okay, another question by Sis Suin. Uh. Mm. Su she says, uh, vegetables like spinach contains oxalates. And yep. oxalates, I don't know what is oxalates, but mm. therefore it's not good. So how, mm. how doctor? You look, go to look into the study, okay? Oxalate does has his, uh, what they call, advantage of it, okay? But oxalate also blocks certain type of nutrient absorption. Right. Okay, okay. so it depends on how you do balance in a way. For example, spinach, spinach got high calcium, you know, okay? High uh, iron but, also? Uh, 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 high iron also, but mm. spinach also block a bit of calcium absorption as well. Okay, ah. uh, uh, but having said that, having said that, having mm. said that, okay, this is called uh, nutrient level, right? Nutrient level, right? right? Okay, having said that, when we talk about outcome, outcomes, outcome, okay, okay yeah. you don't see any study to show that it's spinach, you end up with problem, right? Okay. Unless you so, eat every day, uh. yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I go yeah, every day also, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. But, uh, but, as, but so that's why when we talk about outcome, outcome is more important. When you go right. to the nutrient level, there are a lot of discussion about nutrient or micro level, you know, uh, micro level, uh, uh, iron, uh, calcium, uh, B, uh, you know, oxalate, okay. uh, no, uh, lactin, uh, no, many, many, you know, okay, micro level. When I talk about of the outcome level, uh, then you, you can see that most, most of the time, report all favor, okay, to a plant based food. Uh. So it would not be harmful for yeah. the person. Yeah. Okay, yeah. one question. Uh, nowadays, there's a, I don't know, there's still a rage about kombucha. Do you know kombucha, doctor? Yeah, yeah. What is that? Uh, uh, you don't know? Uh? <laughs> it's some fermented fermented fruits. Uh, okay. Fermentation. Uh. So so no, if you don't know, I am not sure if sister yeah, kombucha, if not sure, if doctor is not sure about what is kombucha, maybe we skip this question. Okay, Sister Jessica say, can we eat one avocado every day? Uh, our avocado is under high fat food. High fat, ah? Uh? Mm, under high fat food. Half so, avocado, lah. Uh, you can, okay. Uh, minimize it is okay. Uh, but you since because avocado is considered whole food also, okay. You eat avocado, you should no problem, okay. But I do suggest you to eat it every day, lah. Uh, uh, okay, it's, it's, some, it's something like uh, uh, nut is very good, okay. Nut is very good. But we, we don't use but we not call, as a we do, don't use people we, we call it nuts uh, to put inside your dishes sprinkle mm. on your dishes to eat uh, we don't advise you to take a whole bucket of uh, as a nuts snack. And, and and see <laughs> movie yeah uh, see movie uh. yeah 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 hey, I snack. try it for myself you know it's so effective to gain your weight uh. yes yes it's true <laughs> so effective uh. <laughs> okay. okay that's true okay doctor another question by our sister our impact hearing one uh, sister Chung Xiao Chi is very good Chung Xiao Chi uh, she's really very good she, she had this typed out she said doctor I heard from TCM that sun before 10 o'clock is better as uh, she has knee problem the TCM doctor advised her to get sun before 10 uh, before 10 a.m. as long as there's sunlight it helps okay uh to, to me, I always uh, make jokes uh, to, to a lot of parents uh, uh, because I see a lot of kids. Uh, okay? Okay. If you want a supercharger, okay, mm. 10 to 3 p.m. for 10 minutes, you want a slower charger, like 6, 6 o'clock p.m., uh, no, 8 a.m., uh, okay, then you may be exposed to half an hour to one hour. Uh. So, uh, so it depends on what is your need. I see. So the time 10 a.m. is uh, before 10 a.m. or after 10 a.m. is 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's okay. period. That's rough for 10 minutes. So usually uh, wise is uh, bring your kids outside to help you to take uh, to take back the clothes. Okay. Uh, and then ask them to plant, water the plant. Okay. Uh, uh, enough. Uh, then come to back. sweep the floor outside. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. One more from Sister Ivy Ang. There are six types of essential amino acids which come from meat product only. How can we get this from plant products, plant sources? Okay, this is a very good question as well as a myth. Okay, uh -huh. originally uh, 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 people last time they would say that, okay, uh, rice, uh, okay, let me tell, uh, let me explain for what is essential amino acid. Uh, amino acid is a building block for protein. Proteins. Protein, if you, if you uh, become smaller and smaller, it becomes amino acid. Uh, there are many types of amino acid to form a protein, to form a protein. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically it's a 
it's, it's a brick, uh, brick of a wall. It's a brick, it's amino acid. So, so this essential, not essential. Essential means uh, this type of uh, protein uh, or amino acid must take from food sources. Uh, your body cannot produce. Okay. So, so people will say that a uh, rice uh, lack of one amino acid. Okay. Uh, bean also lack of certain amino acid. So they must be complement. They mean uh, rice, eat with bean. Okay. Oh. Then you can complement each other. Okay. Mm. I complete each other. Okay. Okay. In, in the fact is, nobody will eat white rice alone. Nobody will eat mm. bean alone. So automatically, our lifestyle already complementing different types of food sources. So there's right. no questions of not enough essential amino, amino acid. This one. Second, the myth come. Mm. This so-called certain lack of amino acids are proposed by a sociologist. Okay, sociologist. Okay, it's not nutrition sociologist. Then later become become nutritional textbook. In so they mention about that. Hmm. Later, the sociologist confess this is not true. Okay, mm -hmm. but this type of theory continue to carry around because why now they found out that even a rice lack of certain amino acid is not lack, it's less in certain less. amino acid, mm -hmm. certain amino acid, provided you eat enough, we eat the full, uh, eat enough, enough calorie. This small amount of amino acid, total amount is still enough. Okay, so can we say that go back to the plate? Yes. As long as I eat certain enough quantity, mm. okay, uh, the amino acid is still enough. It's not it's not uh, zero. Right? It's still less there, but they will become enough because of enough quantity. Okay, so they say eat this food. Don't be in hunger. In hunger, eat again. In hunger, eat again. You do not have in uh, protein deficiency, and you do not have a uh, essential amino acid uh, deficiency. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, this is a bit so more scientific. Uh, <laughs> So it looks like there's a lot of meat, la. Actually, as we go along, uh, there's. Uh, I think. Uh, I think that to have a doctor's advice is. Uh, it's a better. So okay, I have another question here. Uh, my husband has gout and arthritis, and he complains that drinking my vegetarian soup boiled with nut and tofu caused him pain. Ah uh, yes. Doctor, but, is this possible? But I think. I think. Uh, I. I. I'm not your husband doctor. Sorry about that. I'm not sure the condition. But I think, I think uh, before he take your drinks, before you take your veggie drinks or your bean drinks, vegetarian soup. Mm. Uh, okay, he already suffered from gout. He, yes, he, he is suffering from gout and arthritis. Yes. And when he suffered from gout and he preferred to continue his normal lifestyle. Ah. Okay. So uh, everybody have your, you can only make your own decision. If you suffer from certain illness, and you still prefer to continue your previous type of lifestyle, uh, nothing much you can do, lah. Okay, but as I mentioned before, research the many research already shown that the outcome when okay, you mm. eat bean, then they don't worsen your gout symptom. Okay, mm. this is this type of uh, uh, bean caused gout problem. Uh, is very widespread among Chinese community. Mm. Okay, very widespread among Chinese community in the way that they will be brainwashed in the way you know you believe it you eat the bean uh, you feel pain more. <laughs> mm. uh, but it is because of the already underlying condition. Yes, underlying condition. So okay. if they so, got a twenty-one day challenge, would it help? Uh, I would not uh, call you plant-based diet to cure your gut. We don't we, we don't we don't claim that. Uh, okay, this okay. Talk is talking about, about healthy diet. Uh, okay, okay? Uh, <laughs> but but you can con you 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 should consider. continue. Okay, well not you could consider or I more strongly that you should continue plant-based diet. Uh, but 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 provided your husband believe it. Uh, you but if somebody don't believe it, but yes. everything you give uh, yes. later the feedback uh, will be. Uh, Correct, correct, correct. Just like if you have faith in something, yeah. yeah, you will believe it will work. Okay. 
All right, I have a a a, a, a question in Chinese, uh, which are uh, written in Chinese, but unfortunately I can't read. But you know, trust, uh, Sister Suji has very kindly, quickly put it into Google Translate, <laughs> and wow, it comes back to me. Say, doctor, just now you talk about ah, uh, eat hey uh, pro-inflammatory diet ah, uh, eat hey uh. So there's this one sister Maggie. She say ah, uh, after eating vegetarian diet a uh, uh, food for a long time. What the body, yeah, uh, according to Chinese TCM, I uh, say, uh, now uh, I got sub hair. Ah, uh, sub hair. Uh, okay. Moisture uh, in my body. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So in 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 that case, okay, you believe if I'm not in TCM, okay, I'm not TCM, uh, I'm not in TCM, okay. But if you think that you eat, eat hay, okay, then you eat more veggie. You think you sub hay, then your veggie cook first. Ah, put ginger like that lah. Ah, cook first. Put ginger, cook. Don't eat raw, lor. You believe ah, that? You believe that? Don't eat raw. Or eat turmeric, lah, ma. Turmeric, turmeric, turmeric. Oh, actually, actually, uh, uh, a lot of food that you you feel warm, okay? Kaya warming actually, food lah. Uh, a lot of herbs and spices. A lot of herbs and spices that make you feel warm. I see. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so whether you are eat hay or sub hay, ah. Uh, <laughs> can be balanced out uh, with our plant-based uh, diet. Okay, any other questions from here? Just like there's this question, uh, is it better to eat raw veggies or cooked veggies? Wow, this is another level already. Okay, uh, uh, research that do show raw veggies have higher nutrient because uh, the nutrient uh, in the original form, they're not destroyed by heat. Okay, not destroyed mm -hmm. by heat, but they also got research shown that when you cook the veggie, the cell, the cell wall uh, in the mm. veggie, uh, they start to break, start mm. to break, so that more nutrient is being released out from the veggie cell. Ah, uh, so more nutrient can be better absorption. Ah, uh, uh, this is this uh, is so particular true in tomatoes, right, doctor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomato also, a lot of veggie also because ve veggie you 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 bite. You bite and swallow, right? Yeah. Okay. But can you bite until so fine like flour? Cannot, right? We just swallow, ah. So some are absorbed, some are not yet absorbed, lor. Okay. So so they say cooking, so cooking have cooking advantage. Raw also got raw advantage, oh. Okay. Okay. So the the best way you can do is you do mix cook and raw. Mm, any uh, any particular percentage, doctor? No percentage. Any recommended percentage like ratio of cook to raw? Oh, this one I need to look around, see whether they got such a research paper available before I give my personal opinion to you. Wow, okay. Uh, okay. But, but, uh, but, uh, but as far as I, I know, uh, you just eat. Uh. Even, even there are some, some food they found that after you cook, uh, okay, the antioxidant uh, effect uh, increase low. Higher. Oh, higher. Oh. Oh. You, you, thought, you thought it became lower. Man. So hello, hello. After cook, uh, they become mm. higher some more. Okay. So that's mm. why you, 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 you just eat cook and raw, cook and raw. No? Just, just eat. Just eat. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Thank you so much, doctor. There seems like there's uh, no question. Uh, some people asking, where's your clinic? I must go and look for you for advice. Uh, no advertisement <laughs> today here. Uh, uh, but there are a little Google. You can search everywhere. Okay, you can Google for Dr. Eddie's uh, clinic uh, if you want to, all right? Okay, all right. Uh, let me see. Uh, any uh, anemia? Wait, anemia. Wait, uh, I'm just having so many questions. I need to, I need to scroll, scroll, scroll. Uh, do not know how to cook. Okay, go to our Tasty Veggie. <laughs> you can look at answer. <laughs> uh, go to our Tasty Veggie. Oh, join the program next time. Yes, yogurt. Yogurt is good for the gut, right? But most of the time, it's milk-based, doctor. Yeah, Yo yogurt is one of the one of the so, so what called, can we do? Uh, there are many research shown that uh, milk uh, the 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 not good effect about milk lah. Huh? Yogurt uh, somehow they give the effect uh, uh, in the middle, you no? Know? Okay, we believe because it fermented with a uh, good bacteria. Okay, but when you buy uh, Yogurt, yogurt is under dairy, of course, under dairy. But if you can try to get those yogurt who are dairy free, dairy free yogurt, okay, mm, it should be available. Dairy free okay. yogurt. Uh, yeah. uh, because you can get the uh, remove all the risk of certain things related to animal protein, okay. Uh, but yogurt, the good thing is about the probiotic, I mean the good bacteria inside, okay. So uh, the question is, 
you also need to choose how to choose yogurt because many yogurt have high sugar. Ah, ah okay. a lot of yogurt drinks ah, when right, so right, much right. Ah, they say healthy, but they have high sugar. Otherwise, they can't sell because right, very sour. Right, right. They right. A lot of sugar inside, and some actually there's probiotic inside, but because they prepackage, repackage it with certain expiry date, right? Mm. So cannot allow bacteria inside. Otherwise, long time they get spoiled. Mm. So they need to go to a process, heat process, to kill all the bacteria inside the yogurt before they sell. So the yogurt that so you that buy, means got no re- bacteria already. Uh, maybe fermented before, fermented before, but no bacteria lah. Okay. Uh, 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 of course, there are there are now industrial also got different technique. They say later they try to put back certain probiotic inside later. You know, okay, all kind mm-hmm. of things lah. Okay, but no no matter how you say, even you take probiotic also, even take probiotic also, but always remember probiotic need to survive. Right. So when they eat inside your gut, whether yogurt or top probiotic supplement, you yes. eat inside your gut, they need to survive. Right. What they need to survive, they need food, right? Right. What food to survive? We call prebiotic. Prebiotics, yes. Prebiotic is a food for the probiotic to continue to grow and survive. That's so right. the prebiotic come from where? Come food. from fully food. all our plant sources. Wow, okay? yes. Uh, especially uh, mushroom, uh, banana, uh, broccoli. Mm. Uh, uh, many plants, they got a lot of fiber, certain fiber, they are prebiotic for the for good bacteria. The- Ah, okay. So that's the reason why I emphasize so much on if, as far as possible, reduce animal product inside your gut. Okay. Otherwise, you damage the probiotic that you've taken orally. Uh, what a waste. They How does grow. it damage, doctor? Is it the acid? Huh? How does it damage the now, acidity? Now, now, now they've shown that if you are on long-term plant base, your probiotic pattern is different from probiotic pattern those who eat meat one. Okay, and because the probiotic pattern change, okay, probably change, okay, so even certain annual product you eat, the fermentation process different, they produce certain things, okay, not good for your health. Right. Okay? Uh, so the probiotic pattern uh, is depends on your food, now, how you eat your food, actually, you change your probiotic pattern inside mm-hmm. your gut. Mm-hmm. Uh, so 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 meat is not a prebiotic for it's probiotics. Not, it's okay. not. It's not. There's no prebiotic in the meat itself. Right. Understand. Uh, so the cellulase and the fibers all are food for the probiotics. Yeah, I mean, there are many 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 type of fibers uh, okay. uh, available. It's, Understand. Okay, doctor. One qu- one more question. Now we saw your 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 cooking your recipe uh, all looks actually very delicious. Uh. so doctor, can you tell us what is your recommended cooking method? That mm-hmm. make sure we can absorb nutrition. What okay. usually you and your wife prepare? Yeah. Oh, should, should ask my wife to come. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know you all eat smoothie in the morning. Yeah, I, I eat smoothie in the morning. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, eat smoothie with a uh, breakfast also with breakfast oral also. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. But but right smoothie is enough uh, But I still I still eat. Okay. Then later lunch and and dinner. Okay. Uh, I I try to change my diet also after dinner. I don't eat at all. Okay, mm. I don't eat at all. Okay, but the the best cooking method, method. of course, the the best way if you really want to cook the steam is the best, law. Steam is the best. Okay, mm. or some people call it uh, what you call pouching, is it? I mean the the veggie. Uh, that means the, the the veggie put inside the water yes, for yes, a while and take correct. out. You know, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. this is Blanching. the second Okay. Mm. Another way, uh, they call it boiling, no? But mm. people say boiling. Some of the nutrients come out from the come mm. out into the water. So mm. usually we, we we boil, and the water also we drink, lah. We use to cook soup, lah. Usually I use to cook soup when I use this way. Okay, I put a uh, 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 wholemeal uh, brown rice mihun. I put inside. I put a lot of veggie inside. You know, I cook. You know, I pick up a soup. So I take the nutrient from water as well, lah. Okay, so you don't lose the nutrient. Okay, some uh, research paper shown that if you boil boiling, you can lose about fifteen percent of some nutrient. Fifteen mm-hmm. percent of nutrient. Right. Uh, uh, there also any uh, there's another people another group of science also say you lost fifteen percent. Don't worry, you eat fifteen percent more veggie. Uh, you can counter back lah. Mm. Uh, uh, of course, lower uh, uh, and then the mm. uh, another level is start to have high heat. Okay, high heat. Uh, you need to be careful, lah. Okay, all food with high heat, you need to be careful, lah. Okay, definitely. Yeah. Uh. Okay. 
high heat definitely mm. not advisable lah. Jin zhao and the fried deep fried all those lah. Ah uh, yes, if uh, if possible lah, you can do it lah. But, barbecue but, is lagi uh, lah. Uh, but, but I can tell you grill ah, uh, even grill ah, uh, grill ah, uh, uh, barbecue ah, uh, plant based barbecue ah, uh, any barbecue also got different you no. Know? Okay, mm-hmm. they found they found out that a lot of uh, cancer product being produced. Okay, mm. produced, but the meat barbecue, the cancer pro, uh, substance being being created, uh, is much much yeah. more than the plant based. Mm. Even both are even both are barbecue. Yep, understand. Okay, uh, at this juncture, I would just like to check with Sister Xiao Ching and Sister Chin Suan. Any more questions from uh, YouTube or and uh, Facebook? Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, okay, please. We still have. Some minutes. Oh, sorry. YouTube first or Facebook first? Uh, YouTube, YouTube. Okay, you go first. Okay. Okay, YouTube. Okay, there are three questions. Uh. <laughs> okay, the first one. Some beans cause stomach pain. How can the beans be prepared to reduce stomach pain? Okay. Bean, uh, they are, bean uh, is created in that way. They try to protect themselves. So bean can take, take very long time. Okay. And you can't eat bean like that so hard because they're created in a way there are some substance inside. Okay. Uh, mm. they, they, some people call it a little bit poison. Uh, okay. Mm. Which after you cook, they can destroy it. Uh, okay. Mm. But somehow now they found that uh, uh, bean, even you cook, uh, sometimes can cause gassy because of two reasons. One reason because your probiotic pattern mm. is different. Okay? Mm. So that's why for those who are a long time on uh, veggie one or veggie one, when they take bean, usually they do have problem. Many problems uh, happen because for those animal base suddenly switch to plant base, they have this problem because of the indigestion because your probiotic right. pattern is different. So right. in that case, I will suggest you eat lesser bean, you can slowly, slowly Sorry. increase, lo, okay? Mm. Don't eat too full, okay? Don't stuff yourself too full. Eat slowly, small amount, and slowly, slowly increase. Usually about two weeks, you are back to, okay, usually no problem, okay? Another way people do is to make the bean uh, easier to be digest is to soak the bean, okay? Right. Soak the bean overnight, okay? Mm. Okay, faster way, like, something called what call it, sprout. Uh, some you don't have time to do sprout, at least soak uh, so overnight, okay? Uh, before you start cooking, okay. Right. Uh, then the easier to be digest. Uh. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, good. Thank you. So I've been doing it right. Mm. Okay, continue. <laughs> okay, the next one is eating pineapple and papaya on stomach, empty stomach in the morning, good. Pineapple and papaya. Mm, why pineapple and papaya both fruit are two different fruit? Uh? Why these two fruit? Uh? Okay. Now uh pineapple, pineapple is sour, right? It's acidic, uh? the acid level, uh? acid level is higher. Okay. Uh, our stomach, the pH is about two, two to three, uh? pH, uh? that means acidity in our stomach. Uh? Okay. Mm. Much, much, much more, much higher than your pineapple. pineapple. Mm. Okay. So your pineapple don't damage your stomach. Okay. Okay. Uh, even your stomach acid uh, is so much acidic than your pineapple. Okay, oh. but pineapple uh, uh, contain a very good enzyme. Okay, okay, uh, good for your health. Okay, uh, especially the enzyme uh, uh, is come from the stem of the uh, pineapple. pineapple. You know the center uh, part of the the uh, white color okay. one. People uh, yeah, like yeah. to throw away one. Okay. Ah, you go to market. You tell them, oh, give me a dozen of this. Uh, this is the best thing in, inside there." Uh, uh, the best thing people throw away. <laughs> Keep it a uh, promalin, correct? Uh, promalin. Rayani, uh, Rayani mentioned about uh, that. Uh, promalin, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, this enzyme is mainly in the stem of the uh, of the pineapple. Okay, they're higher. Okay. Papaya, uh, why cannot take? Uh, I, I don't know papaya. the reason. Uh. I, I don't know the reason. Maybe maybe you can uh, elaborate a bit more. Uh. Maybe diuretic. Uh. Once you take, you want to go to the toilet. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay. Doctor, I have one question here. I think this is very important. Uh, this question says, I heard that the plant-based diet is also beneficial to people suffering from depression <laughs> as the cortisol and adrenaline produced when animals are being slaughtered can aggravate mental illnesses. Doctor, any truth in this? They do have uh, research shown, uh, shown that people on plant-based, okay, helpful, uh, helpful for somebody in anxiety depression because anxiety depression is an inflammatory stage 
in your brain. This is really confirmed. Uh, Our brain is inflammation because uh, as long as you eat food, uh, anti-inflammation, okay, mm. it helps in a certain way. Okay? But we don't call it plant-based diet as treatment for your anxiety and depression. Mm. Okay? Because mm. your anxiety and depression, besides come from the lifestyle, the many factor, factor mm. come from your family, family from your work, your stress, stress, your perception of life, okay? all kinds of things can contribute to your anxiety and depression. Okay? Uh, food itself is part of the healthy lifestyle. Right. Okay? So right. there are many, many things determine okay, uh, right. how good in your progress of recovery from a depression. Uh, okay? So mm -hmm. if you find yourself having this problem and cannot come out of it, how can I come out of it? Look for a doctor. Okay, understand. Thank you so much. Okay, um, I hope everybody uh, has uh, had their, their questions answered. And if not, we look forward to Dr. Eddie's uh, future sessions. Uh, oh, sorry. I understand that Chisa Chin Son has some questions from FB. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, one, one more last question. Uh, okay. From Lily Lin. She asked that, is it seaweed contain vitamin B12? Yes. Uh, they, are, they say that it's contain B12, okay? But not all, C, not all kind of seaweed contain B12. Not all seaweed contain B12. Some yes, not all contain B12. So it's still not a reliable source. It's still not a reliable source. Doctor, any, any seaweed that is more B12 than others? Since you say it's not uh, uh, equal. What, 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 what kind of seaweed? That, that one hard one, uh, the dry ah, up, very kombu, hard one. Kombu. Uh, uh, kombu got more, okay? Uh, mm. I can't remember a few more. Okay. Nori uh, it is a thin thin one, the one do sushi uh, one, the one less yeah. la. Uh, I, I only know that it's not a reliable sauce. La. You you don't think of that one as a reliable sauce. Okay. okay. <laughs> but 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 I but I I'll tell you that B12, by right B12, if you've taken enough, this B12 actually B12 is the is the only B supplement. Uh. B supplement is water soluble. That means you, you take you come up from a urine one. Okay, mm. they say you take B complex, sometimes you see a yellow color in the yeah, urine, yeah, yeah. right? Ah, mm. They come up from the urine one. B12 is the one of the vitamin B can store inside a liver. Oh. Uh, they, so can store, uh, they can store three to five years, you know? Okay. Oh. Uh, that's why it's not, it's, it's, it's not oh. easy to get B12 uh, deficiency. deficiency because it's stored in the liver for three to five years, enough for three to five years. Okay? I understand. Uh, but, but we do find out that old people, especially old people, tend to have B12 deficiency, even, even their meat eater, okay? Now they notice B12 deficiency related to your brain development problem, old man disease problem, mental problem, dementia, uh, 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 dementia problem, uh, uh, B12, so important, no? So why their meat eater still got B12 deficiency? Now they found that B12 need to go to your stomach acid before being absorbed. So as the age grade old, go older and older, our stomach acid gets lesser and lesser. Ah, our yeah. stomach start, start to degenerate, okay? Yes. The acid production is lesser and lesser because yes, intrinsic yes. factor probably less and lesser. So even you take B12 also, they do absorb. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so they start, uh, strongly advise whether you are meat eater or not, okay? okay? When you go to the aging age, uh, take B12, okay? Even if you take meat eater, uh, supplement. But even you take even your meat eater also, you you, you may not get uh, enough B twelve uh, absorption from from eggs and milk also. They found that it is not reliable source. Okay, okay. Uh, Sister Chin Chuan, any more question on your side? I try no. to answer whatever I I, I can. Okay, uh, last uh, one. I have one last one. One uh, last one. Doctor, uh, is the full vegan diet with less oil and no oil like what you said just now suitable for young children below twelve years old? as they are still in the process of growing, uh, for instance, their brain cells or certain organs? Our body needs fat. Yep. The fat is enough from the whole food that you're taking. Veggie, bean, and grain, inside, they have fat inside. That's why they have fat-soluble vitamin inside as well because they have enough fat. This fat, enough supply for our body. You do not need to add extra oil, okay, as a fat source for your child, okay? Your food, enough fat is inside the food itself. Okay, all right. Can learn so much, Dr. Eddie. Can learn so, so much. So in the process, if I answer anything wrong, okay, 
uh, mm. don't worry, you can post it out there. You know, uh, who knows? I have something that I may not able to read. Okay, so I'm still in the process of learning. Mm. <laughs> in nutrition field, there's so many things to learn. Huh? Okay. Right, right. Uh, and as we move along, you know, because yeah. different times and different soil quality and everything that affects the food that we eat as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think uh, at the end of the day, um, uh, I hope that everyone who is here today listening in, um, it is important for us to practice with ease. Okay, do not be stressed out by all the information here today because uh, change cannot happen overnight. Uh, we need to take time sometimes, okay? So be at ease. Uh, in your mind, because sometimes you also have to consider your family, your environment and all that. So most important, I guess, uh, to eat happily and not to be too uh, particular yeah, about the nutrient part. Doctor say is the overall outcomes. Okay? Order the plate. Oh, and always go back to the plate if uh, in doubt. Okay. Uh, my only request is whatever thing you learn here, try to share with your friend especially to your family members yes if your family members not aware what you have you learned then they may not able to follow your pace right. Uh, right so if you want whole family member go towards a healthy lifestyle not just yourself just do only you need to explain yeah. why what have you learned okay so your family member can agree with what you have, what, what you have learned uh. okay this right. is my only request right. know whatever you know Okay, whatever, no, give away to somebody you know. Yeah, don't go and tell your kids tomorrow, no more eggs, okay? I tell you uh, all, no more eggs. Uh, uh, then and you don't keep get... all the good things secret. <laughs> uh, keep it for yourself. Uh. Wow, problem. I eat myself enough veggie. Oh, you eat meat, uh, never mind. Uh. I don't want to disturb yeah. you. Uh, I, uh, no. I guess that's why, yeah, uh. that's why the, 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 the vegetarian, uh, the, the recipes, you know, they are so important. It's so important because why? It gives us ideas. Because yeah. sometimes we do not have enough ideas. Okay? Mm. So I think... Um, I think we've all come to the end of the program today. We are so grateful to everyone who stayed with us until now. And before I close, I would just like to share this word of wisdom by Master Cheng Yen, which is the land provides sufficient grains and nutrients for all mankind to eat healthily and happily. Okay. And that is... Uh, words of wisdom for master today before we end. So we do not have to rely on unnatural way that involves, you know, uh, taking lives of other beings. Okay. We do not have to rely on uh, too much processed foods or highly extracted foods. So basically, if uh, what doctor has advised us, eat whole plant-based food, in the call according to the plate i think rest assured um, to not be too you know uh, what we call zi, zi zuo, about the whole uh, uh diet thing yeah eat at ease and at peace okay so with that i'd we'll like to end our session today and if you would like to get more updates please remember to join the tasty veggie facebook page all right join it so that you will get updates you will get recipes. For sure, Dr. Eddie's recipes will be uploaded. Doctor, you promise, huh? Eggless omelette. Oh, let me explain uh, one first. Uh. <laughs> eggless omelette. Okay. All right. With that, we would like to say thank you once again to everybody for your time. We hope that you will be healthier mm -hmm. and happier um, day after day. Okay. Got it? Got it, everybody? Bye -bye. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. And then Dr. Eddie, Kanan, oh, Sister Si Ching, you, and Sister Ching Suan on both the other platforms. Kanan, Kanan, okay. everybody, okay. eat well and stay healthy. Okay. We learned so much from you, Dr. Eddie. No, whatever we, we learn. Give away, give away. Very give away. excellent. <laughs> Very excellent. Oh, uh, enjoy excellent session. Wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful host. Uh. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> really good. Yeah, really good. <laughs>